Well, good evening and happy Saturday. Often a very chilly day today as temperatures are still about 20 degrees for where they should be for this time of year, normally sitting in those low 40s. Right now we're only in those low 20s, although a few spots got close to 30 degrees by this afternoon. High pressure has been in control throughout the day today, allowing for those beautiful clear blue skies, but also allowing that cold air to really settle in from the north. Now this is going to change as we move throughout the night. This high pressure is going to scoot out of the way and make way for this big low pressure system way off in the plains. It's going to be tracking its way across our area overnight tonight and into the day tomorrow, bringing some rain and snow showers back into the area by tomorrow afternoon. Right then now this evening, temperatures close to that freezing mark. A few 20s in the eastern upper peninsula, still a very chilly evening. And as that sun sets, it's going to get even colder, although not quite as cold as what we saw last night. Winds have been out of the northwest throughout the day today, helping to keep those wind chills down into the single digits and low teens for many areas. They have been fairly light, though, so it hasn't been too bitter. Tomorrow, though, winds are going to be picking up very quickly into those morning and afternoon hours out ahead of our new system, mainly out of the southwest. West sustained at 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts up to 40 will not be uncommon, so we are going to see that issue of blowing snow throughout the roadways in the afternoon tomorrow. So Stormcast this evening showing very quiet and clear conditions overnight tonight. We are going to see more clouds increasing into those overnight and early morning hours, although some sunshine tomorrow morning will definitely be possible. Winds really picking up as our cold front will start to approach the state. First areas to see some of the snow and mixed precipitation will be along the Lake Michigan shoreline right around noon to one o'clock tomorrow afternoon. So if you do have plans to head out for spring break, I suggest going in the morning before the system rolls through because it is going to be a very messy afternoon and evening. Winds up to 40 miles per hour at times is going to cause a lot of blowing snow on the roadways. It's going to be very wet and slick snow that is going to fall, so some very slippery conditions can be expected throughout tomorrow afternoon. Not a whole lot of snow is expected, but it will cause enough to cause traffic to slow down by tomorrow afternoon. Now behind the first wave of snow, we are going to see some more rain showers trying to work their way in. Temperatures are going to be close to 40 degrees by tomorrow afternoon. Afternoon. So we are going to see that changeover between rain and snow pretty much throughout the entire duration of the system tomorrow afternoon and evening. Monday, though, at least in the morning, will start to dry out, but we're not done with that wintry weather. We are going to see a clipper system passing through Monday night into Tuesday, bringing another round of some accumulating snowfall. Now, there is some disagreement between the models on where the snow is exactly going to line up, but as of right now, it looks like mainly northern lower Michigan and even in portions of the eastern upper peninsula is on track to see the most snowfall from this. Could be picking up a few inches from this as well. The good news is after this passes, temperatures are really going to be warming up back into the 50 degree range. So here's a look at the snowfall totals for tomorrow night. Looking at anywhere from one to three inches, most of the snow will be in the eastern upper peninsula, although of course higher amounts are definitely possible for a few areas. And as the clipper rolls through Monday night into Tuesday, could definitely pick up a few more inches. Right now looking anywhere up to seven inches of snowfall. So winter is still trying to hold on here in northern Michigan. We are going to see some more spring-like temperatures, though. As we move into next week, temperatures close to 50 for Wednesday and Thursday, although we are going to see some more chances for rain and snow.